I have an image in my desktop and I will drop it in Photoshop. Now I will roughly isolate it, isolate my man from my background. I'll say roughly because this uh, tutorial isn't about this. So I will take my quick selection tool and very roughly isolate him from the background. some areas and this area here this here and I think this is okay now I will click here to create a layer mask create a new layer and press alt backspace to fill it with the foreground color which in this case is black now I will fix him a little bit, I will go to my brushes and take a smooth brush and I will reshape this mask here a little bit. Now I won't be too accurate here because this is about isolating images from the background now from the layer mask when I write with black I erase and when I write with white I delete the mask and show the image below. Now let's do a little bit here, here. I won't uh, do anything in the right side because I don't need to for this. But I will fix his hair a little bit now. I will reduce the opacity of my mask to 20 press the right bracket to scale it up and do with the direction of the hair I will ease this a little bit now this black background is a, a difficult background especially for hair because everything, every mistake will show keep easing my mask as you can see I write on my layer mask and not my layer perhaps I can raise the opacity of my mask a little bit no too soon There are plenty of ways to deal with hair, but I will do this in this tutorial. Now, I have corrected my mask a little bit, and I will show you uh, one more trick. Now, I go to for the hair especially. I go to my brush presets and I take this hairy brush here I will open the brush preferences and I will change the direction of my brush now I am in white and here you can see I can correct this a little bit by adding here and 
for example here I can change again the direction of my hair to create a smoother transition this is very can scale it down a little bit and of course I can always bring my other brush again my smooth brush take my white reduce the opacity and even this a little bit more now for this tutorial I think this is more than okay now let's go to the bottom of this tutorial to the essence sorry now I will go to view and make sure that I have enable snap to grid here F sorry first of all I will create a new layer and fill it with white command backspace now you'll see why I will do that now I will go to view and I want to bring to show the grid I'm also I can also snap to grid now I will take my polygonal selection tool go to a new layer and I will create a triangle which will be 5% black command backspace backspace to fill it now I will do a smaller triangle and one more perhaps here and fill it with 15% black or perhaps 20 backspace now I will create it an even smaller and by pressing shift I add to my mask because I have this scene on my lasso this plus so I go to 50% black alt backspace no command backspace sorry and I will also create a very small one and I will fill it with pure black now in this I will click on this plus command and click on this layer go edit define brush preset I will call it triangles sorry angles and this will be my brush shape now why I did this because I want Remember the mask with uh, when I write on my mask with black I erase and with white I show. So I want the very small areas with black and the very big with white. So command D to deselect, hide this layer and go to here. I will duplicate also this layer and hide it for now. And I will go to my layer mask as before. I this make my canvas disappear and go to my brush and go and select this brush I just made now I will go to my layer mask and start deleting areas from my guy here now to change my direction of the brush I can do what I did with the hair brush but I can also do this I'll press R and shift to rotate my image my canvas to 45 degrees but as you can see my brush is vertical like it was before I can reduce its size a little bit to give a more interesting thing press R shift and click and drag to change again the direction of my brush 
that time maybe it's a little bit here. And I will try to delete and erase this sharp edge of my guy here. Try to do this by clicking and not by this motion because it creates a pattern. Now R shift and again rotate. I can also make my mask a little bit bigger. R shift to create a little more interest. R shift and rotate, click and drag again. Now, I think he is okay for now. I will go to the layer I have duplicated. I will erase the mask command backspace fill with white. Layer mask, filter, blur, motion blur. And I think this 34 pixels is okay. Now, I will multiply this because I want to be able to see what's happening. Press Command T and let's say I move it like that. Undo the multiply and fill with black all this layer mask. And now I'll go on this layer mask on the top one, select my brush again, and this time I will write with white. again create some interesting stuff with the scaling of my brush and as you can understand you can make this happen with any type of brush and so many different effects and I think he is okay for now. Now I will add a little more touches, a few more touches to the background. I'll create a new layer, go to a smooth brush, select white. interest to the background and I'll just reduce its opacity enough and I think this is it for this tutorial I hope you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching